on my Atomic Wallet review, BT Carmo says thank you for the video how to connect Atomic to Binance DEX, do I need to sign up on Binance DEX? I'm answering all your questions and I'm creating videos like this when necessary, so be sure to leave your comment below, ask me any question you might have and if I need the video to guide you through the answer, be sure I'll do it. So let's just connect Atomic Wallet to Binance DEX and see if we need to sign up to Binance DEX. For this, all you need is a browser where you go to binance.org here you'll access the Binance DEX and also the Atomic Wallet inside your Atomic Wallet you'll go to settings and here you'll click on Wallet Connect you'll allow Atomic Wallet to take pictures and record video this is required for the QR code scanning I'll click allow and we'll need the camera in a second because we'll go here to binance.org and click start trading this is the Binance decentralized exchange where you don't need to sign up in order to access it. The layout is a bit messed up because I'm on my phone right now, but let's just click on unlock wallet. Here I'm asked to connect to my wallet and in this case I'll use Atomic Wallet. Of course, every time be sure you are on the correct website. You can see right here that we are on the correct website. And now I have to click here on get wallet connect QR code. This is the QR code I'm supposed to scan. It says I'm connecting to the Binance DEX exchange. Approve. And now I'm connected with my Atomic Wallet. This is my address. Whatever funds I have in my Atomic Wallet, they're available in the Binance exchange. Of course, only the coins that are tradable on Binance exchange. Let's go to balances. I'll click hide zero balance and here I can see all the coins that are supported. In case you want to disconnect Atomic Wallet from the Binance DEX, you click on disconnect right here or uh, this will be available in your settings. So go on settings, wallet connect and then disconnect. To continue using the Binance DEX, I'll have to click on reconnect and this is the QR code. So I'll have to go back to wallet connect, scan the QR code again and reapprove it. And it says mobile wallet connected. Let me send some funds to this address and I'll be right back. Okay, so I transfer some BNB over. You can see right here BNB 0.1. I have this uh, amount in my wallet. And if I look here in the Binance DEX, I need to refresh this page. You can see. The same amount here in Binance Dex. So whatever funds I have in my Atomic Wallet right now, I can trade in Binance Dex. And let's see if we can trade it. I'll go to Exchange and Tokens. I have to resize the browser to show up properly. So let's just search BNB USDT and try to sell some of the BNB I have. So I have available 0 0.1. Let's sell it. 100%. Let's choose the price first. This is the price people are selling at and this is the price people are buying at. So let's select the latest buying price. 100% here and click on sell. And then it will ask me to confirm the transaction inside my wallet. So I'll just click approve here. Now you can see I have available USDT and no more BNB. So the transaction went through without my funds leaving the Atomic Wallet, but I was able to trade them in this decentralized exchange from Binance. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check my Binance trading guide, which I'm posting on the screen right now. You'll learn there all you need to know on how to trade on Binance, and I'll see you there.